Omega, you are worthy of our praises. Today, you are worthy of our praises today. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of my praises. Today, you are worthy of my praises today. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Oh, my God. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Oh, my God. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Oh, my God. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Oh my God. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Oh my God. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Oh my God. Type it. Is a worthy God, worthy Father, worthy Lord. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Oh my God. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Oh my God. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Oh my God. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Oh my God. Welcome. Welcome to tonight's broadcast. First in the series this week. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everyone on the social media platforms, welcome. Everyone joining from Turning Point TV, welcome. Oh, it's going to be a hilarious night. A great time before the Lord to share and to pray. It's our prayer hub. Get ready to pray. Get ready to also share. Type in all situations of your life. We engage life situations. We engage the questions and the situation that people have sent in to give counsel, give guidance, and then to pray. So ask questions, receive answers, and then pray. So there are three legs on this program. Ask questions if you have any. Describe your situation if you have any. There will be counseling. There will be guidance. There will be clarification. And then prayer. We serve the God that answers prayers. Now go to your share button and start sharing. Like, make comment and share. Like, make comment and share. We are on four networks tonight. We are on TikTok. We are on Facebook. We are on YouTube. We are on Instagram. I hope it is clear. The network is clear where you are on TikTok, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. I hope, I believe the picture is clear. Both the audio and the video, they are clear here. I hope they are clear where you are. Type that to me and let me know. It is clear here. Type and share. The network is clear here. Type it and share it. Share it two, three times. Let people connected to you know that this program is on. Tell them, ask a question, receive answers, and prayers is on. The program of ask a question, receive prayers, and pray is on. It's an interactive program. So you can also make your inputs. You can let us hear your view on the issues being discussed, and then we all move on to prayers. God will not answer the prayer we fail to pray. He says, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek, you shall find. Knock, the door shall be opened. I prophesy. 
Every door that each person will knock in prayer today shall be opened. Door of opportunities, doors of marriage, doors of babies, doors of new jobs, doors of mega contract, doors of traveling, doors of relocation, doors of abundance, doors of sweet anointing, doors of greater resort, doors of favor, doors of assistance, Every door you will knock by faith today shall be opened massively for you. Type Amen, Amen, and Amen, and share. That prayer, type Amen, Amen, and Amen, and share. I can see Adeboye Eloikuru on Facebook. You are welcome. Bolaji Ajayi, it is clear here. Kenny Adeko Akiri, clear here. Type your name, the city, and the country where you are typing from. Olubodi Beatrice. Good evening. It is clear here from Iwo, Iwo in Ocean State, Nigeria. Type your name, the city, and the country I have seen. Tojuade Ayola on YouTube. It is clear from Dallas, in uh, USA. Dallas, USA. God bless you. So type your name, the city, and the country. Where you are joining us from? Ghanaian, Adebayo, I've seen you. Which country, which state, which city? Type your name, the city, and the country where you are joining us from. This is a global family. This is a global platform. Victoria Michael from Lagos State, Nigeria. I have seen you there on Facebook. I have seen you. God bless you. Mary Rose. Good evening, Daddy. I am Jenny from Libya, Zaria. I'm a member of Tony Point Global Family. God bless you. Patricia Omorodion. It is clear here from London. God bless you. God bless everyone. Please share, share. Let people connected to you be connected to this platform. This is a prayer answering platform. This is a question answering platform. This is where we deal with real human issues. And then we take it before God in prayer, inspirational prayer, prophetic prayers, and the doors must open. Be a part of it. Share, share, share. Let what is blessing you bless others. Go to your share button. Share five times, ten times. Let more people join. I can see Taiwi Bikole from Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. Oladapo Uluwa. They said, uh, please, sir. Okay, that one is already asking questions. Asking, you can also make prayer requests. God answers prayers here. All right, my lovely Linda from Kano, Kano City. How is Kano today? God bless you. God bless you. Everybody, keep sharing, keep typing, keep sharing, keep typing, keep sharing. Let more people join. For a uh, funny menace. Gideon from Ubomosho on YouTube from Ubomosho. I can see Ijeoma from Umahia, Abia State, a member of TPGF. God bless you. Everyone, do that. Power of God is here tonight to heal, to deliver, to set free in all areas of life. If there's any prayer need in your life, we will be climaxing this by 9 p.m. The prophetic prayers on different issues of life. So if there are issues in your life on which you want me to prophetically pray, look for something to represent it. Document photographs, your mantle, your anointing oil bottles, your uh, anything that will represent where you want the power of God to move for you for prophetic prayers. Do that. I can see people from Germany again. Kalu Mecca from Abia. God bless you. Ekaite Udo on YouTube from Lagos. God bless you. Every one of you. Osaru Osagedi from Benin City. God bless you. Everyone, share, share, share. 
I can see easy promise from Konakri. God bless you from Konakri. Abundi Bolaji on Facebook. God bless you on Instagram. Let me see you Instagram, please share, share, share. TikTok, TikTok, share, share, share. Let everyone connected to you get to know that this program is on now. Okay, let's hit the ground running. We take issues sent in here, one after the other. I will provide counsel, give answer, give direction, the practical, scriptural, applicable to life, real. And then we will go into prayer. Please type in your situations. This program is driven by people typing in their situations, asking their questions. So we hit the nail on the head. We are not guessing. We are not hoping. We are treating real life issues. There are real life issues. There are real issues in life. Type in your own, ask your questions, and from there, we generate prayers. And each person sending in questions or describing situations, you are doing that on behalf of many others. Many others are going through the same situation. So you are asking on behalf of yourself and many others. And the answers, the counsel, the guidance that I provide will also be for so many. And then we go into prayers. That prayers, all of us are involved. You are praying for yourself. You are praying for others. And things will start happening. I can see Ojoba Batunde from Austria. Ufeoma Penda from United Kingdom. Oh, people are already getting involved all over the world, but we need higher traffic on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, and on TikTok. Higher traffic. Blessing, Ugbebo, on YouTube from Abuja. God bless you. God bless you. Everybody go to your share button and start sharing. Type, turning point is on. Please come over and share. This great program is on. Come over and share. Amen, amen. Share. Share three times, four times, five times. And let many people join in what God will be doing here today. Right? Somebody is giving testimony. A law will be. Good evening, Daddy. I'm thanking God this evening for my phone, which was lost was found the following day there is an anointing for lost and found on this commission whatever you have lost is coming back to you if the axe head can float back whatever you have lost is coming back to you in the name of jesus god is going to cause your axe head to float back you are going to pick it up in jesus name all right now the first issue Daddy, how do I interpret the Bible? <laughs> how do I interpret the Bible? The Bible is God's word to us. The Bible is the encyclopedia of life containing the mind of God, the word of God. The Bible is a book of divine instruction, insight with instruction, and it covers all aspects of life. Is a light unto our path, is a lamp unto our way, a light unto our path. It makes us wise, it gives us the mind of God. The Bible is the mind of God, it's God's letter to us in print. How do I interpret the Bible? Now, there are two aspects of the Bible there is the logos, the written, the black and white, white on pages of papers, the black and white on the pages. Of paper read like any other book that's called the logos the written word then there is the reverend the revealed word the spirit he said the letter kill it but the spirit gives life so to study the bible and interpret the bible you must have the mind of the holy spirit only on last sunday i was preaching and i said the bible is a coded book only the holy ghost can decode it so anyone that does not have 
the understanding of the Holy Spirit, the Bible is just like any literature. But when you have the mind of the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is said, the scripture did not come in the time of old by the will of men. But holy men of God spoke as they were led of the Holy Spirit. A translation says as they were born along, you know, when an aircraft is airborne, when you fly in the plane and it's airborne, you are taken along with it in air. So he said the holy men of God spoke as they were born along by the Holy Spirit. So to correctly interpret the Bible, you must interpret it in the light of the author. Nobody understands a book better than the author. The Holy Ghost uttered the Bible. Holy men of God spoke as they were led of the Holy Spirit, led by God of the Holy Spirit. So to be able to interpret the Bible correctly, you must have the Spirit of God inside your spirit. You must have more than the naked eyes. There is the spiritual eyes. You must give spiritual understanding to the scripture. And so, a lot of people interpret the Bible superficially, read it as literature, and interpret it as literature. But there is the latter part. There is the revealed part. There is the spirit incubating on the scripture and truth jumping out of the pages into your heart to answer your question, to give you direction, to give you deeper meaning of the things of God. We are going to pray tonight. Lord, open my spiritual understanding to know your word. The Bible says he opened their eyes and they understand the scripture. It will take the Holy Ghost to open our spiritual mind to understand the Bible. Lord, open my spiritual mind to understand your word. Give me the understanding of your word. Give me the revelation of your word. Type it and share. It's a major prayer. If not, the Bible is a closed book. Only the Holy Ghost can open it. The Bible is a coded book. Only the Holy Ghost can decode it. Lord, open my spiritual understanding to understand your word. Open, open me up to Rema. Let me see the Rema of your word. R-H-E-M-A. Let me see the Rema. Open my eyes of understanding to understand your word. To interpret your word correctly. You should not interpret the Bible superficially and carnally. No. The Spirit of God uttered the Bible. Open my eyes, Holy Spirit, my spiritual eyes, to understand the depth of the scripture. Type it and share. Are you typing? Are you sharing? Are you typing? Are you sharing? To the ordinary man. He said the things of God cannot be understood by carnal mind. A carnal mind cannot understand the things of God. Neither if it can be because they are spiritually designed. Lord, open my eyes spiritually to understand the depth of the mystery of the revelation of your word. Type that prayer and share. Lord, open me up spiritually. Open my spiritual mind to understand your word. You need to understand God's word to thrive in this world. Heaven and earth will pass away. The word of God will not. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. God was, was the word. The same was with God in the beginning. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made. Ah, the word of God. He said the word became flesh. And we saw it as the visible son of God. Lord, open my spiritual understanding to understand your word. Lord, open my children's spiritual understanding to understand your word. If you don't have the spiritual understanding, you just argue and argue. Have you seen people argue scripture? They will argue and argue because they don't. It is spiritually designed. Open my spiritual understanding to understand your word, to be led by your word. Are you typing? Are you praying? Thy Lord Esther, God bless you. Timelian, Lord, open my spiritual mind to understand your word. God bless you. He will open it. He will open it. Oh, when you understand God's word, serving God, living for God becomes, becomes your joy. Because the Bible speaks. God breathed on it. God will breathe on the scripture. And it will bring life to you. It will give you direction. It will answer your questions. It will take you deeper in the things of God. Open my spiritual understanding to understand your word and to live by your word. Are you praying? Grace of Shunayi, I have seen your prayer.
that will take me to open my spiritual mind to understand your word. Give me the understanding of your word, the spiritual understanding of your word. The Bible is the encyclopedia of life. It captures all life's issues. The Bible captures all life issues. Open my spiritual understanding. Oh, yes. You will. All right. While you are typing and sharing that, oh, yes, Abiola Kayode, I like you, Mary Rose. Every one of you. And uh, yes, you are typing it, you are sharing it. Type it and share, share it to you. Day, Ayola. Lord, open my eyes of understanding to understand your word. Lord, open my spiritual understanding for my children to understand your word. Through the word, he made the whole world. There was nothing made that was made outside of the world. So if the Holy Ghost will open your understanding to understand the word of God, you will rule in the world of men. If you understand the word of God and live by it, you will rule in the world of men. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. Daddy, is it okay to check on someone that is not lovable? Is it okay to check on someone that was not lovable? Yes. We were not lovable when God loved us. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That is the meaning of being a child of God. Loving the unlovables. Stretching the hand of love to them. So you can influence them for God. There's something in our church we call IBI. Identify, befriend, and influence. So stretch the long hand of love to the unlovable. Love them. We were unlovable when God loved us. We were rebellious. We were injurious. Paul the apostle said, I've been an injurious person. And yet on the way to Damascus, Jesus met him, converted him. So love the unlovable. Pray for the unlovable. Don't just pray for them. And God will touch their heart and let them open up to your love. So give me a heart of love. Everybody pray that prayer. Give me a heart of love. The Bible says the love of God has been shed abroad in our heart. Give me a loving heart. Give me the heart and the mind like Jesus. Jesus had a loving mind, a loving heart. He loved the sinners. He loved the unvulnerable. Don't work that work. Mocking him, abusing him, and slapping him. He still prayed for them. Lord, give me, oh God, give me the mind of Christ to love the unlovable. Give me the mind of Christ to love all people. Give me a heart of love. Somebody type that and share. Give me a heart of love. He said, the heart of love. He that loveth not does not know God. The heart of God. God is a loving God. The love of God must be shed abroad in our heart. Oh Lord, let your love be shed abroad in my heart. Let your love be shed abroad in, abroad in my heart. Give me a heart of love toward all human beings. Give me a heart of love towards you and towards all human beings. I receive the heart of Christ, which is the heart of love. I receive the mind of Christ, which is the mind of love. Type it. It will give you. If you ask for it, God will give you. He that asketh receiveth. Grace of Shunni, give me the heart and mind like Christ to love your word, to love you and love the unlovable, to love your word and to love others. We must love God and love others. Love God and love others. And it is a thing that is so difficult for the flesh to do. It will take the grace of God to love the unlovables. Those who did negative to us, we are to love them. Jesus loved the unlovables. We were rebels. We were enemies of God when God loved us. He loved us enough to give us the only begotten Son. But it will take the grace of God to do. We can't do it by the arm of flesh. No. The natural flesh want to revenge. The natural flesh want to love only those that love you. The Bible says, if, all, if we love only those who love us and give to only those who give us, we are in the love of God. We are in the love of God. 
So, God, give me grace, the mind of Christ, the mind of love, to love everyone, though even those who don't love me, those who, those who are difficult, give me grace to love them. Give me the mind of Christ. Give me the mind of Jesus Christ that loved all. Yes, as you are praying it, God is giving you. As you are praying it, God is giving you. That your Ulu, that your Emmanuel, I say amen to your prayers. Mary Rose, I say amen to your prayers. Every one of you typing it, amen to your prayers. One do, Thomas, amen to your prayer. Tim Ezekiel, amen to your prayers. Type it, type it, share it, type it, share it. Those that may be joining us for the first time today, indicate and say, I'm a first timer here. I am joining this platform for the first time. Type your name and let us know. I am a first time man on this program. I am joining this program for the first time. When you say that, TPGF members on TikTok, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, please welcome them. Welcome them warmly. Type and let us know if you are joining this platform for the first time today. Your name and indicate I'm a first timer here. And let Tony Point Global Family members on TikTok, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. Please welcome all those our friends that are joining us for the first time today. Welcome them. Yes, Antonia Ian, I'm a first timer here on Facebook. Everyone on Facebook, welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. Oh, it is happening on YouTube too. Adela Yade, I'm a first timer. All our members on YouTube, welcome. Adele Yadeyemi on this program and every other one, okay? Abiola Kayode, I'm a first time here. I'm joining this program for the first time. Kayode, Abiola Okpeyemi. On YouTube, everyone on YouTube, join us to welcome. For me, many, my name is Gideon. Join this program for the first time. On YouTube, oh, so many people are joining for the first time today. For me, Layo Omoni. I'm a first timer for me, like your money on YouTube. Everyone on YouTube, type their name back to them and welcome them. Welcome them. Please welcome them. Please welcome them. Oh, tell them you love them. Tell them you love them. Tell them to join regularly. Walking a precious on YouTube. I'm a first timer. Violent Okies on YouTube. I'm a first timer. So many first timers are joining today. I am looking for the old timers. To welcome them. Do so. Okay. Adibai Elikuru, you are already welcoming them. Please welcome them. Let's welcome our friends that are joining us for the first time. All right. Stanley James on Facebook. I'm joining for the first time. Rose and Atang on Facebook. I'm joining for the first time. Please welcome them. Oh, we need them. We love them. All those of you joining us for the first time today. We love you. This program comes up two days a week. Mondays as we are having it and on Friday. Same time, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Nigeria time. Please, just one hour. We used to do one and a half hours before, but it is now one hour. One hour of profitable engagement. One hour of receiving direction, receiving teaching, and of prayers. Do so. Do so. Welcome them. Welcome them. Please don't keep quiet. We are all stakeholders. We are TPJ families. God is using all of us together. Welcome them. Ruth Kachiro on YouTube. I'm a first timer. Welcome them. Oh, welcome them. Well, mention their name back to them. Don't just say you are all welcome. Type the name of the fellow and say welcome. Type his name and say welcome. All right. Some me follow. Say, please, I have a question. Type your question. Go to your comment section. Uh, bound below your, your, your gadget and type your questions there. Type your situation. We want everyone that has a question, that has a situation, type it. Go to the comment bar and type it in. We are going to address that on Friday. What you type in today, we will address on Friday. 
what we are addressing now or what people type in last Friday. Do so. Do so. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Welcome them. God bless you. Okay, let's take another issue. Please make your contributions. If you have contribution to these issues, make your own contribution. Listen to my own answer. And if that resonates with you, support it. Support it. And then we'll go into prayer. Sir, what should one do when it's constantly being lied against, sir? When you are constantly being lied again? What can you do? I, I, I wish I know your environment. Who are the people lying against you? Are they your siblings? Is it members of your family? Is it at the workplace? Is it in the school? Is it in the office? But generally, when one is constantly being lied against, be sure it is a lie against. Be sure it is all lies. Because lies cannot stand for long. No matter how many, no matter how long, lies will crumble as a pack of cards very soon. There is something inherent in life that is self-destructive. In our own part of the world here, we have a native program that says if lies has gone for 20 years, one day, the truth will catch up with it and dethrone it. Only the truth remains constant. Lie cannot stand forever. So, prayer against that lie attack on you. Then, can you move away from people lying against you? Are there people you can move away from? Or are they in your household? Are you talking of your husband or your wife or your siblings or your co-workers? He says a man's enemy shall be there of his own household. Enemies pretending to be like friend, lying against you, their lies shall be exposed. I like us to turn prayer here. All lies against me crumble as a pack of card. Lord, expose all liars against me. Expose all evil doers against me. Enemies appearing as friend, expose them. Enemies appearing as friend in my life, in my children's life, expose them. All lies against me crash and crumble. All lies against my children, against my family members, crash and crumble. All enemies appearing as friend be exposed in Jesus' name. Can you type that? All enemies appearing as friend around me be exposed by the power of God. Be exposed by the power of God. All liars appearing as friends, pretending to be friends, be exposed. All enemies pretending to be friends around me, be exposed in Jesus' name. All lies against me crash as a pack of cards. All lies against my interests, against my children, against my family, against my business. All lies against me and what I represent crash as a pack of card type it three times and share type it once share type it the second time share type it the third time and share 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 yes i like joy bookie lord has put all lies against me in jesus name everybody need to pray this prayer it's a very powerful prayer there are enemies appearing as friends and they are the most dangerous they are the most dangerous. You think that they are friends, but they are undermining you. They are lying against you. They are digging your grave. They wish you evil. All enemies, they slander you. They talk ill about you at your back. But they see you and smile. All enemies appearing as friends around me. Be exposed by fire. Be exposed in Jesus' name. Be exposed by fire. Be exposed in Jesus' name. Can you type it three times and share it three times? Type it three times and share it three times. Yes. Root, Kachiro, all enemies pretending to be friends around me. Every one of us has to pray this prayer. 
This is where how people are undermined. They lose their job. They lose contract. They lose benefactors because of slanderers, because of liars. Many's lives can even die. They take people's life. Lord, all enemies appearing as friends before my daughter, my son, my husband, my wife, my parents, my interests, by fire, expose them. By fire, expose them. By fire, expose them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a major prayer. It's a major prayer. All evil people appearing as friends, undermining my integrity, eroding my integrity, digging grave for me. Inside that grave, you will be buried in the name of Jesus. All liars, all lies against me and my interests. Many of you, many people are in trouble now in their places of work, with their boss, with the institution, because somebody lied against them. All lies against me crash like a pack of cards. All enemies appearing as friends be exposed by fire. Imane krutapa yeti ke Crash like a pack of cards. Are you praying it? It's a serious prayer. Pray it ahead. Pray it ahead of time. Many of these prayers we are praying like saving money in the bank. On the days of evil, this prayer will stand for you. All enemies appearing as friends, all evil tongues lying against me become dumb. Lord, arise and fight for me. That's another prayer I want you to pray. Lord, arise and fight my battle. Lord, arise and fight my battle against all enemies appearing as friends, against all liars against me. Oh Lord, arise and let my enemies scatter. O oh Lord, arise and let my enemies scatter. O oh Lord, arise and let my enemies scatter. Are you praying? These are prayers that will be answered. Prayers that must be answered. Prayers that must be answered. Prayers calling for answer. And when the lies against you crash, then your new position, your new helpers, your boss, your institutions, your life will thrive. All enemies appearing as friends, as supporters around you, and anything that has your name on it, they crash and they are exposed tonight. Say amen, amen, amen. Yes. Oh, YouTube, you are doing well. Facebook, you are doing well. I like Instagram to do better. I like TikTok to do better. Better. Type and share, type and share. Everybody type and share. Daddy, what is your take on people that fight and quarrel on little things? What is your take on people that fight and quarrel on little things? Those who fight and quarrel on little time, on little things, have little minds. Don't flock with those who have little mindset. They are petty, pettiness. They are sentimental sentiments. You can't go far with that in life. Begin to argue and quarrel over little things. And please don't get into an argument with anybody. If a discussion, a conversation is about developing into an argument, close your mouth, keep quiet, and walk away. The Bible says we should not get involved in endless genealogies. Endless genealogy means endless argument. Don't get into argument with anybody over any issue. State the fact. State the truth. If they begin to twist it up and down and argue, please keep quiet and walk away. Because there is nothing. You may win an argument and lose a friend. And that is not wisdom. Don't get involved arguing the Bible, arguing the word of God, arguing the issues or any issue of life. If you don't know the truth, keep quiet. If you know the truth, say it. If they don't accept it, leave it. Like we said the other time, truth will always come up strong. 
Those who don't take your truth today will take it next time. But it might be too late for some of them. You can't repress the truth. So those who fight and quarrel over little things have little minds, small minds. And don't be fine, don't be found in the midst of such people, if possible. Proverbs 13, verse 20. He that was with the wise shall be wise. A companion of fools shall perish. Don't congregate with people of little minds. I mean, pitch your tent with those who have serious issues in life, those that are well focused and they are pursuing their focuses, those that are well grounded and they are adding value to life. Yes. Those that will add value to you and add value to themselves. Those that are serious with the issues. Those that will do research. They are not small minds. Those that will speak the mind of, seek the mind of God and do their homework very well. So when they open their mouth to speak, there is substance. But those that are light, light, flimsy, talkative, loquacious, they, they, they have nothing to offer. You don't stay around such people. Oh Lord, deliver my life from wrong people. Lord, let wrong people live my life. Let wrong people leave my husband. Let wrong people leave my wife. Let wrong people leave my son. Let wrong people leave my daughter. Let wrong people leave my siblings. Lord, let little minds, wrong people, live my life. Be far away from me. Give me serious minded people. Give me people that will add value to me and I will add value to them. Give me serious minded people. Oh yes, high flyer people, great people, great friends, great benefactors, those that will add value, great mentors. Give me good people. Surround my life with good people. Lord, give me the gift of men. Oh, that's a good prayer. Lord, give me the gift of men. Nobody can go far in life without the gift of men. Lord, give me the gift of men. Good people. Right people. Courageous people. Supportive people. Loving people. Lord, give me the gift of men, human resources, material resources, financial resources, but human resources is great. Give me the gift of men. Type it that way. Lord, I need the gift of men. My life will not lack good people. Nobody can become anything in life without people. God roots his help and assistance through people. God sent angels in form of men and men in form of angels. Lord, let my life enjoy the patronage, the support, the assistance of good people. Let my life and things enjoy the patronage, the support, the assistance, the goodwill of good people. Type it that way. Type it that way. Something is happening now. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening to you that God is rearranging things in your favor. God is raising men and women that will back you up. Nobody can go far. Somebody need to recommend you. Somebody need to talk of you to the king. David can sing. David can play instrument. But somebody had to recommend him to the king. Somebody said, I know one of Jesse's sons is good on instrument. Is good on his harp. The king says, send for him. Somebody has to recommend you. The chief butler spoke of Joseph before Pharaoh in the palace. Pharaoh says, send for him. Ah, they will send for you. Somebody recommended Esther. Esther was not originally part of the list of the virgins, but somebody mentioned her name through her uncle Mordecai. Her name surfaced on the list. Lord, let good people stand up to defend my cause. Place good people for me at strategic junction of life. Lord, place good people for me, for my children, at very crucial junction of life. Type it and share. These are powerful prayers. These are prayers that will change destinies. These are prayers that will, that will, that will lift embargoes. These are prayers that will release angels. Lord, place good strategic people on my crucial point of life. Let there be somebody that will speak on my behalf. Let there be a Joseph for me. Joseph spoke about Jacob to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said, go and bring that your father. Let him bless me. Oh, somebody must speak before the king for you. Somebody must recommend your products, your goods, your services, your consultancy services, your CV. 
Lord, let good people stand for me at crucial times of life. Type and share. Yes, type and share. 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 Hey, Oye Marema Ijehoma. Lord, give me the gift of good men. Gift of men. Gift of men. Glad this Adeoye. Lord, give the gift of men. Lord, give my husband, children the gift of men. Lord, let my life enjoy the patronage of good people. Ah, this is a powerful prayer. Let my law, my, my life, my ministry, my platform, my network, my goods, and my services enjoy the patronage of good people, of able people, people in high position, influential people. Let them influence things in my favor. Influential people, kings on, in, on thrones, palaces, generals, high ups in great level. Let them speak good of me. Good of my product, good of my company, good of my services, good of my school. Are you praying that prayer? These are great prayers tonight. These are great prayers tonight. Something is about to happen for you. Something is about to happen to you. A door is about to be opened. Your heaven is about to be opened. A benefactor is about to appear. A recommender about to appear. Somebody that will speak your name before the king, where you will be sent for, is about to surface. Ah, pray this prayer. It's about to appear. It's about something good is about to happen for you. Something great is about to happen to you. Somebody say, I receive it. Somebody say, I receive it. Somebody type it three times. I receive it. 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 Share it three times. I receive it, I receive it, I receive it. Share it three times. Something awesome, something beautiful, something testimony worthy, something that people will gather to celebrate with you is about to happen. A major door is about to open for you that will radically change your life, change your level of result, take you to a higher level. Say amen, 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 and share it. I'm praying for you with an anointed tongue. I'm praying for you with an anointed head. I'm praying for you with the covenant I have with God. Something major. This July, Karimo Tekairiasu. This July, something is about to burst open. I see people gather around you to celebrate. I see congratulatory messages flowing to you and your children. I see somebody come to your life and turn things around for you. My daughter, trusting God for marriage. I see somebody asking for your hand in marriage. I see a married proposal for your daughter, for you this month. I see your son taking the step of faith. I see invitation, invitation to a higher level. I see approval. I see your visa being issued. I see your citizenship, your green card, your indefinite stay, your work permit being issued. I see you being transferred to your desired location. I see you being delivered from what will harm you. Say amen, amen, and amen. Yes, something is happening today. Something is happening. I am hearing the cracking of doors. I'm hearing the rumbling of doors opening for somebody's son, for somebody's daughter, for somebody's business. God is about to take you from shallow waters to the deep ocean of business. Shallow waters to the deep ocean of ministry. God is about to turn things around for you and your family. Say amen, amen, and amen. Hmm. This July is pregnant for you. Daddy, is it okay for someone to list out names of men of God and be praying for them? Good. If God gives you that grace and that calling, to list out the names of men of God and be praying for them. Men of God needs prayer. Pray for them. But the apostle will always say, brethren, pray for, pray for us. On July 2, when I marked my birthday last Tuesday, I called people to pray with me, to pray for me. TPGF members, I hope you pray for me that day. TPGF members, did you pray for me on Tuesday, July 2? I, 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 I beg for your prayers. Because I don't have it all. I don't know it all. 
I'm a human being, only sent by God and anointed by God. So I need prayers, I need support, I need love. So I said, pray for me. Did you pray for me? Answer me now. As many as prayed for me, July 2, let me know. Oh yeah, Bing Bay Philip said, yes, sir. Bing Roshana said, yes, I did, sir. Ha, God bless you. Do so for me regularly. You know what I said? If you are one of those who wake up at night to we, as you are returning from the restroom, fire a prayer up for me. As you are returning back to your bed, Lord, bless your servant, Femi Emmanuel. Bless him as he goes, as he labor and work for you. Bless his family, bless his wife, bless his work. Such prayer at the middle of the night is very powerful. It doesn't have to be long. As you are returning from the restroom where you went to, we just fire prayers up and do that regularly for me. I appreciate it. Oh, let us know. Yes, yes, I pray for you. Yes, I pray for you. That's good. Nelly Obina Awugu, yes, daddy. Remy Mankide Komolafe, yes, daddy, I pray for you. I trust you, Remy. God bless you. I pray for you. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, Deborah, Olugile, I did, I did. Wow, Adebo Ali, I did it. Yes, I did. I pray for you also. May the Lord bless you. For praying for God's servant, God will bless you. So, this question is it okay for someone? To list out names of men of God and be praying for them. Good. Men of God needs prayer. God bless you. Okay. I will take one more. One or two more. Daddy, what should I do in a situation where no one is willing to help me? Hmm. We have treated this kind of question before. Calling for help. No one is willing to help me where I, I, I want to believe that this is coming from a young person, a youth. There is no older adult person that should be begging for, be crying, nobody to help me. When you identify your focus in life, when you train up for your passion in life, when you add value to yourself, and you begin to do what God called you to do, help will come. Help will come. God will send helpers, provided that you lay your hand on what is valuable. You lay your hand on what is profitable. You must not be idle and be asking for people to help you. You must not appear as beggars and be asking people to help you. You must be profitably busy. And then God will direct helpers. God will make eyes to see you. Help will not be far from you. I want everybody to pray. Oh Lord, my life must not lack help and help us. My life, my business, my career, my calling must not lack help, must not lack help us. Send help and help us to my job. Send help and help us to my platform. Send help and help us to my network. Send help and help us to my assignment. Send help and help us to my ministry. Type it and share. The help you need will come. The Bible said it is the very present help in the time of need. Now, except God builds the house, the labor in vain that builds it. Psalm 127 verse 3. Except God send helpers. There are those who appear as helpers, but they are there to hurt you. So you must design. As God uses people to help people, the devil also uses people to exploit people and to kill people. So you need that grace to design who is a genuine helper and who is a pretender to hurt you? Lord, send help and genuine helpers to my life. Send help and genuine helpers to my life. Send help. Yes. Ola Yemi Amushan, I like the way you are typing it. I can see you and I'm saying amen to it. I'm saying amen to it. All those of you that are typing that, I'm saying amen to it. Oh, yes. Jeff Osage. Yes. Rose Atank, I'm saying amen to it. Joy Buki on YouTube. Ruth Kashiro, I'm saying amen to it. Florence Adegoki, blessing Lugbebo, I'm saying amen to it. Oye Mine Rema Ujeoma, John Godwin, Mahmoud Audu, Ozo, Wonfu, Konfo, 
Kofu. Yes, your life will not lack help. I'm sorry if I didn't call your name correctly. Uh, please accept and just receive your prayer. Receive the amen. Yes, God is in action here. Can we take one more? Daddy, what is your take on changing one's church if one is not being blessed where he pres are presently fellowship? We have said this again and again. If your church is not changing, you change your church. There is no name of any particular church in heaven. There is no Anglican church, St. Michael, St. Teresa, St. Matthias. There is no name of any church in heaven. There is no name of any Methodist church or Baptist church or Redeemed Christian Church of God or Living Spring or Winners, Living Faith. There is no name of Rema or Daystar or, or Assemblies of God or CAC or the Apostolate. There is no name of any church in heaven. There are only the redeemed, washed by the blood of Jesus, raptured or slept in Christ. There is no name of any church organization. The church, the names we bear here is for is just for structure to, to know where one belongs, and, and then it's like you are in the whole ministry and that's a department. So, no name of any church in heaven. Well, however, the church you attend, the anointing under which you operate, the man of God that sits over you as pastor, as shepherd, as instructor, can we profoundly affect you. What a man does not have, he cannot give you. And when a man has the wrong thing, he passes it over to you. So if the church or the fellowship you belong is not adding value to you, is not helping your life to grow, is not challenging, is not enabling, environment matters a lot. If the doctrine is diluted, there is heresy, there is fighting, there is no progress, there is no growth, is all set to problem one day or the other, backbiting and all the right of it. The man of God there is not an example. If you are under that environment, your life will be soiled. It's a toxic church environment. Leave it. Depart and prayerfully look for where you can grow, where you can learn, be under a mentor, a pastor, father, a father figure, where the word of God is read. I mean, rightly portion, say rightly dividing the word of truth, where your life is witnessing. The anointing you are connected to matters, and the spiritual environment matters. Whoever is not adding to you is removing from you. I've said that again and again. So if the spiritual environment you have, church, is not adding to you, it's not inspiring you, it's not challenging you, it's not motivating you, you can't serve, you can't grow, prayerfully look for where you can grow. There is no name of any church in heaven, but the church you belong to here on earth will profoundly affect your growth, your spirituality, can even take you out of heaven. Because if they are in error, if they are uh, not speaking, preaching the truth, if they don't have a good structure, and then you are in for it. And one of the strongest bondages on earth is religious bondage. Don't let anybody put you in bondage. If they are heretic, heresy, false doctrine, you can't thrive under that one. They will even rob somebody of heaven. Sir, how do I help my friend that is not ready to change from her wayward lifestyle? Like the one we said, please don't carry a leper. Don't carry someone that will swear your own need dress. Love them from a distance. Cancel from a distance. Don't let the waywardness enter your life. That's not friendship. And of course, why are you into friendship with somebody who is wayward? Say, show me your friend, and I will tell you who you are. He that walks with the wise shall be wise. A companion of fool shall perish. If someone is wayward, someone is ungodly, someone is abusive, someone is blasphemous, Someone takes the things of God so likely, desecrate sacred things. Why are you doing friendship with that person? Please disembark and face your life. All right? Daddy, how can a child of God raise genuine business partners? We will start from here next Friday. We will start from here next Friday. It is 9 p.m. already. Why are you blessed? Let me hear. Why are you blessed? If you are blessed, say, I am blessed, Daddy. I am blessed, Pastor. I am blessed, Daddy. I am blessed, Pastor. 
TPGF, truly blessed. I am truly blessed. Can somebody type, I'm truly blessed three times? I'm truly blessed three times and share. I'm truly blessed three times and share it. Were you blessed this evening? I am truly blessed. I am truly blessed. I am truly blessed and share. Oh, people are already sharing that. Oh, yes. Ah, Ananenu Sylvia. Mahmoud Audu, Beiru Shola, Adebo Ali Adedeji, Joy Buki, Ademola Aderito, Fumetale Oladapo, I am truly blessed. On Facebook, Adeola Ojeni, I am truly blessed, Daddy. No, sir, you know, oh, happy, oh, my, my, my. The thing is running, it's somersaulting. Ola Yemi Amusha, I am truly blessed. I love all of you. I bless you. I'm praying for you. If you are sick in any part of your body, lay hand there and let me pronounce healing. If you have brought anything as a point of contact for prophetic impartation, hold that thing, your mantle, a piece of cake, a bottle of water, photographs of your children, of your loved ones, your CV, your paper, any document, whatever can connect to what you are trusting God for. And as I begin to pray, be typing Amen and Amen. May those good intentions of your heart become the manifestation of your life. Stretch your hand towards me on the screen. May the, this hand release virtue, healing virtue, lifting virtue through the grace and the power of God. Your intention shall become your possession. No evil shall come near you. You will not be cut short. You will not be cut down. All embargoes against you are hereby lifted. Evil protocol suspended because of you. They will get that thing. They will answer you. They will give you. They will sign it. They will release it. They will call you. They will approve you. They will invite you. Invite your children. Approve them. Oh, you are moving to the next level of your life. This month of July, which is the month of my birth, will deliver great things to your life. The covenant I have with God is that everyone under this anointing, God's birthday gift to me will include blessing them. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord help you. May the Lord lift you. May the Lord connect you. May the Lord assist you. May the Lord enlarge you. May the Lord defend you. May the Lord fight your battles. In the name of Jesus, every closed womb be open. Whatever the medical situation, it is overturned tonight. You will conceive. You deliver your baby. All pregnant women, you will deliver in peace. You will receive the mother and the children life and in peace. All businessmen and businesswomen, all self-employed people, all skilled people, all, all employers of labor, all, all breadwinners in all families, male and female, receive a divine touch of God. Oh, anybody that is owing, the jacket of death is removed from you. Your life will have a breakthrough. Small will become big in your hand. Big will become bigger. You are blessed. You are lifted. The increased, the honored, the supported. The Lord bless your life. In Jesus' name, say amen, amen, and amen. Wow. Wow. Something has reached you tonight. Something has just happened to you. You will know it later. Please share this message. Rebroadcast it several times to all on your contact. God bless you. Friday will be another day of this uh, live broadcast. But every day on your WhatsApp, on your telegram, on your app, receive turning point with Femi Emmanuel. Early morning as you wake up, the Lord bless you, the Lord lift you, the Lord increase you in Jesus' name. We are shutting down. We are shutting down. We are shutting down. We are shutting down.